Hello and thank you for joining me for the second half of your design consultation download. My name is Nadia Strachan and I am your interior design consulta um, consultant for today. Um, please excuse the light shining in from my shutters, um, it's sort of the midday sort of sun, so please excuse me with for that. Now, you have chosen to have the fun and funky um, interior um, for your hallway. So just a little quick reminder, this is your fun and funky hallway. And we explained a lot about that in the first, um, the first half of the consultation. If you don't have that, please go back and have a look at it. Okay. Then going into the all absolutely stupendous, um, going up the stairs part of the, um, of your hallway, this beautiful striped runner. Okay. And then culminating on the landing and you've got all these lovely bright fun funky doors okay so now we're sort of up to speed now at this stage you should have printed out all of your design consultation you should have printed everything off so that you have everything so you have all of this printed out also um you have the key the next stage is the key and you can see i have a uk key and i have a us key so you can see there's two parts there's um the uk there and also there's the us key okay once uh, you printed that out then you need to have printed out as well your hallway now this is the most important part the hallway um spreadsheet okay i when i print mine out i print mine out on double-sided can you see that they're double-sided okay and um so that's an important thing to note uh, you know because it just keeps it concise and okay yes it saves paper as well and it saves money and time etc but to keep it all compact print it on both sides um i um also i do things like this can you see i make notes on my printout that's why i need you to have a hard copy because i need you to be able to make me um make notes on everything okay so that's really important for you to be able to make notes okay so once we printed everything out and you've got everything in front of you okay um, then you can see what you need to order give yourself two weeks two weeks the reason I say two weeks is because um, most manufacturers they don't have absolutely everything in stock straight away so when you order things yes things can come within three days or you know within a week but if it's out of stock you want to give yourself a little bit of time okay to gather everything together so you're literally going to go through everything that i've printed out now let me backtrack a little bit and explain something to you just to put your mind at ease Yes, there is a UK key and there is a US key. And there are, you would have noticed, slight differences. Now, the reason why there are differences, I'll just adjust this a little bit so we can you can see me better. Okay, the reason why there are differences is because, yes, I'm in the UK and I'm explaining this to you in the UK, um, because we have different suppliers and manufacturers in the uk and also in europe different manufacturers different suppliers as you have in the us you have your own suppliers and your own manufacturers in the us or different parts of the americas okay so i've um looked at the suppliers for both the us and the uk and um, to be able to bring this scheme together so that it works for you whichever part of the world you're viewing this from okay so i want you to have peace of mind that the um items that i've specified are pretty much near as damn it identical they're just um they're just what they produce in europe 
and what they produce in the Americas. So of the same item. So in some cases, they are identical items. They're just called different things, you know, just two different names for meaning the same thing, you know. So don't worry about that. You will get exactly the same quality and the same look if you go along with what I have specified in your spreadsheet. I call this your working mood board. That's what I call this, your working mood board. So that's why I need you to gather all of the items together. Now, um, the main items, as you can see, is match pots, okay? Now in this scheme, it's fairly simple, everything's white. You may think, I don't need to get a sample of white. I know what white looks like. Yes, you do. That's, um, it's important for you to um, get a little sample of the white if you can, okay? And then don't paint, uh, you may have a grey hallway, okay? That hallway is going to look so different if you paint it white. Obviously, if it's then it being grey or you might have a patterned hallway, what I would say, please do not paint a patch of white on your wall, okay, um, to give you an idea of how it's going to look, because that will not be encouraging. With this scheme, you can put this scheme together, I would say, um, on the outside, you can do this scheme in one month. If you're going to do it yourself, you may think, oh gosh, I can do it quicker than that. No, because there's a lot of prep work. Uh, one month, if you're going to do it all yourself, if you're going to get trade in to um, paint everything, lay the linoleum and then um, fit your carpet, then you can do it within one week. OK, trade. They can do everything within one week and it's done. OK, if you do it yourself, give yourself one month. The reason I say that because you're busy, you still have your life to run and you you know, it will take you time, maybe one day, you know, to do the ceiling, then paint the walls, and maybe the, you know, the um, architectural detailing, the cornicing, the skirting walls, and then it's going to take you time to lay the linoleum, then it's going to take you time, definitely, if you're going to do that carpet yourself, okay? If you're going to get somebody in, then you have to book them to come in, and then they're going to come in at a certain time. That's why I say give yourself um, up to a month, because you can do this in a month. It's not long in the scheme of things. If you really think about it, what is a month? A month, and it's done. You have this fantastic, fun, funky hallway, all the doors are painted, the walls are painted, everything is done. So it's not just a case of painting just everything white, the doors need to be stripped and prepared and then painted as well. And maybe you're changing the door handles. Remember I spoke about that in the last video, maybe your door handles, if you don't want them all the same colour, maybe you want lots of different hand coloured handles, so they need to be all changed out as well, and so maybe they need to be, they, they need to be sorted out as well, and the balustrade needs to be painted, so it isn't as, you know, even though it looks really simple, and really easy to do, um, it is, um, in the simplicity, it needs planning, okay? So that's why I say, if you're going to get somebody in to do it for you, um, a trade, if you're going to get trade to do the whole lot, the whole lot, then the trade can do everything in one week, and it's done. If you're going to do it half and half, okay, half and half, then maybe two to three weeks, whereby you do part, um, some of it yourself and trade does, uh, you know, part of it like laying the carpets, etc. Okay. Um, or if you're going to do it all yourself, definitely I'll say a month. Please give yourself a month. And and I said, you, you'd be so happy because a month will pass so quickly. Okay. And you're going to end up with this beautiful interior. And it'll just make you feel absolutely just so overwhelmed and so amazed when you come into your home every day and you walk into this beautiful fresh and bright hallway and these beautiful jeweled you know colored primary doors and you go up this beautiful runner stairs or along the corridor if you're in, a, in an apartment or a flat you're along the beautiful corridor this runner corridor and you've got these 
beautiful doors coming off it. So it just, it just creates this lovely, fun and just welcoming atmosphere. And so I would say, please give yourself time and go for it. So we're going to order everything or get the samples. When I talk about the paint, okay, the paint of the doors, okay. Now, get a match pot for every colour that you intend to use, okay. Remember I said get a sample of the carpet, take it along to the paint shop and let them do a colour match so they can give you the exact colour grade of that colour, okay. Now, in this, I've specified certain colours that are actually in the picture itself. So... These colours that are in there, they're the colours that I have specified, okay? You may not get the exact colourway of this rug for yourself. So you're going to take the sample of this along to the paint shop and get the exact colour. I'm just giving you representation. So if you manage to get this exact colourway, fantastic. Then we can go with this verbatim, okay? So that's fine, that's fine, that's fantastic, okay? So I would say get um, get um, the match pots for each colour of the doors that you're going to use. So you'll not only have white, you'll have white and you'll have a yellow, you'll have a blue, you'll have a, you know, a pink or red, just depending on how many colours you've got. I would say get all the colours that were represented in your rug and then... I would get a piece of A4 or A3 or even a large a piece of A2 paper. So get a pad of paper. Paint the colours onto the paper. So you're going to have in this, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six. So I'm going to have six match pots. Um, six match pots, okay? And I'm going to have six large pieces of paper painted with a match pot. Then I'm going to get some masking tape and I'm going to stick those colours on the doors. So I'm going to stick the, um, you know, the blue one masking tape. I'm going to stick that on that door. I'm going to get the yellow one masking tape that I painted on my paper. I'm going to stick it on that door. I'm not going to paint it directly onto the door. No, we're not going to do that, okay? I'm going to paint it on the paper and I'm going to stick the paper on the door. And then also the same with the walls because I've got white walls, okay? Maybe your current walls are not white. If they are, okay, you know. Um, then I'm going to paint white, a white piece of paper and I'm going to stick that on the door, on the wall next to the door so I can see what it's all going to look like. And then I'm going to get my carpet sample. Now, here's the trick. Now... With a carpet sample, you can order a carpet sample and they will send it to you, but sometimes they charge. But if you go into the carpet shop or to the carpet manufacturer or supplier, they will probably give you a larger piece that you could take away. And sometimes they give it you for free, for free, you know, or, or maybe, you know, you can buy if you want to buy a piece. That's fine, because sometimes they have ends of remnants, ends of rolls, and they will give you a, a slice of it for free. Or you may say, I, I want to buy a metre strip of it or something, which is quite, you know, a big piece. Then you get a bigger piece if you go in shop, because they will not... Obviously, if they're going to send it to you, they're going to charge you, because they've got to charge you for the postage, yes? So if you go into the store and collect it, or to the manufacturer or supplier and collect it, then you get a bigger piece and if you need to pay uh, a little amount for it maybe you know you could pay or they may give it you for free because you've actually come in and you've collected it and also what's really wonderful you will be able to see all the other different you may find other varieties of striped carpet when you see it in the flesh you may think oh that's wonderful i prefer this um that colorway or that colorway maybe you decide to take a couple of colorways away with you okay and also you're going to need to have those colorways in order to get your paint samples very important you need to get the carpet that's the key piece in this hallway runner this hallway runner get a sample of it so that you can take it to the paint suppliers to be able to get those ma those colors matched okay so this is the way we're going to go about it so once you've got the carpet sample, you've gone into the store, you've got your carpet sample, you've taken your carpet sample to the um, 
to the uh, paint supplier and they've color matched those individual little colors for you and you've got yourself up to it's up to you you may decide you want to just do all you know two colors like I said in the last video maybe you decide you want to choose just two colors out of here and maybe you want to have all the colors on the ground floor in green and all the colors on the, the floor above in blue okay um, so maybe you've gone with two colors and so you've got your two colors and you've got them upstairs and you've put those colors paints because you get an awful lot in those color pots or those match pots and you've got those colors and you stuck them on the walls you've got everything set up so you've got a walking mood board and also it means maybe you can't start redecorating straight away um and so it means that your home doesn't look like it's a patchwork of things and um, be because that won't be encouraging when you're coming home and seeing that each day um, it's not as motivational as people say it is really, you know, and if people visit your home, you don't want to have these patches all over. So you need to be able to put them away neatly in a drawer somewhere. And when people are visiting your home, so your home looks ordered until you're ready to go. And then you can simply take um, a week out. Maybe you have time off a week out to just um, get it all done. You can get it done one hit. Okay. A week out get it all done, get all the prep work done and get it done. Or if you want to take a, week, a month out and you're going to um, systematically do it over the course of a month, that's fine. That's the way you're going to do it. Um, but it, uh, it gives you time to be able to plan and to order this. And that's the key to be able to enjoy the process because we're talking about this has the potential to change your story. And once you start to change your story, you start to change your life for the better. And that's what we're all about. When you change your interior, change your space, you end up um, with a beautiful interior that just lifts your spirits every time you walk into your home. And this is the first room that, you, that you're hit with when you come into your home. And also, another thing that people uh, don't realize, they don't think about, when it comes to um, your hallway, this is the room that you pass through to access all the other rooms in your house. So it potentially can be a room that is used more than any, any, any other rooms. When you need to go from the hallway to the kitchen, from the kitchen to, you know, to the bathroom, to, um, to the bedrooms, you know, um, to the living room, dining room, whatever, you, you're passing through this space on a daily basis you're moving through this all the time and as i say as well when somebody visits your home when you open your front door this may be the only room they ever see of your home and that will give them an impression of who you are and what you're about that is your welcome space okay so i'd say spend the time to plan it well and to make um so that you have the maximum impact from a very simple scheme okay so that being said okay with this fun and uh, funky interior um all the walls are white what i have done is uh with the balustrade um the balustrade is painted gloss white for obvious reasons people's hands are going up and down them very easy to clean so you gloss white on the balustrade and on all the skirting boards, that's be the reason why um, at the side of the runner, you can see there, the reason why I've done gloss is because that's um, going to take a lot. It's very, gloss is very tough and very durable and it's going to get mopped, you know, used um, mopped and wiped down a lot. And if the hoover bashes it, it won't chip you know so gloss um a gloss floor paint we're going to use it's not going to be the same gloss that we have on the uh, skirting board because a floor paint has a different wear than a something that's on a um on the side there you may decide i don't want to use a use that you can but I, uh, you may not want to use a floor paint just for that little bit but I would say please use the floor paint on that side, on the sides of the, um, you know, of the uh, um, the runner, um, because the reason why I'd say use that because it's designed to be walked on or mopped and scuffed, and it wears very very well. 
uh, much more so than if something for an architectural trim okay so please go with the specifications just for the best result and also for the longevity of your scheme as well you want the best outcome and the best look and for it to last for as long as possible okay so that's really important just to adhere to that when you see the specifications for the floor okay um now um moving on from that like i said the balustrades are gloss because they get a lot of touching the walls are in satin they're in a satin or a satin wood um because you can wipe them they're white and people will touch your walls that's just will happen but they can be wiped if you've got young children they're going to touch the walls they can be wiped teenagers make just as much mess as young children okay so um this is a white scheme you want to keep it white and just oh this is hot soapy water will keep it looking fresh and as bright as when you first put it put that scheme together so that's important to know that all the walls will be satin not matte a satin finish so they're wipeable um and then um the other specifications for the architectural detailing i usually keep architectural detailing that's um the cornicing if you have cornicing at the top and the ceiling those are keeping matte but anything below that the walls satin gloss on the baluster and also the skirting boards okay floor paint for the floors and um and i say the the um in the hallway itself the vinyl cushioning the vinyl cushioning um as i explained in the first video if you're in an apartment it's soundproof but also it's easy to it's low maintenance lower price point and easy to um make keep clean and also looks great for a very long doesn't show wear at all so i'd say definitely go with that um when we go upstairs to the um the the, the actual doors as well the doors i have done the doors in you can um go for a gloss finish um a gloss finish works um great in um fun and funky like this especially if you've got young children they're going to be touching those doors a lot a lot and so normally i say satin for the doors but in this case if you've got young children i would say please go with the gloss for the doors it might seem oh it's quite a you know the colors are bright and what have you but uh, if you can go get a gloss please get a gloss for the doors with young children but i have specified that um satin wood works really well but with young children gloss go with gloss say with gloss okay and also it just adds to the whole fun sort of funky look as well oh uh, in here the wooden floor the wooden floor doesn't have to be a real wood floor you can go with a uh, a vinyl wood floor um so you it doesn't have to be a wood it can be a faux wood floor so you can go with a faux wood look it's just a different look if you do choose to go with the white uh, floor as you have in the hallway that look would work beautifully as well you don't have to go with the wood i just wanted to add in a, a, just a different little element to there um but you don't have to go with the wood element at all um you can go it doesn't get as much use you see upstairs as it does downstairs that's why i've introduced the wood there but the trafficking is not as much as it is downstairs so that's why you can get away with a lovely wood floor um in this area here so just to think about that as additional element okay um so once you've done that and you've got all of your items together find out how long it's going to take for um if you're going to get your carpet fitted your stair runner fitted and what the lead time is if the carpet's in stock if they say it's going to take um the fitting of the carpet will take them i don't know half a day or i don't think it will take that probably take them about one hour if they're if they're going to fit it for you um you need to find out when they're going to deliver it how long it's going to take them to actually deliver it to your home maybe they say they can't deliver it for another week or two weeks if it's not in stock for two weeks then it's going to take the four weeks so it's two weeks for it to be in stock and then another two weeks for the lead time for it to for you for it to come around for you to be delivered if you want to pick it up yourself and get it and and fit it yourself that's something else 
that's fine okay but i would say if you can get it fitted um um perfect the carpet place who deliver it will also fit it and that's the beauty of that okay and usually they give you a really good price um if you can buy it in the sales all the better um but um whoever delivers it they also have people that can fit it so i would say go with that and that works really beautifully for you okay uh time frames that once you've got everything printed off please write down how long everything's going to take um to be delivered when you're going to get it delivered um um just the lead times you can also write the prices on there as well just to keep your budget in check as i say this is a bronze scheme there's no need to go above the specified scheme the most important um thing to remember is that the the value for money is to make sure you buy a good quality carpet runner and that it's fitted well that's where the most of your spend will come and to um get the doors painted and do a really good paint job if you're good at painting great if not get somebody to paint those doors for you um, you may find you can whitewash the walls yourself that's okay floors that are going to be fitted and um, the linoleum get that fitted if you can't do it yourself okay so it's just seeing um how you balance things out maybe all the walls are painted now um by you um, now this is the order that you're going to do it in okay you paint the ceiling first if you're going to fit light fittings you paint the ceilings first and then the light fittings are fitted in okay ceilings first then you go then you paint the walls ceilings first then the walls okay then you paint the balustrade and then you're going to um paint the uh the floor paint at the, um that's going to go under your stair runner okay so that's what the ceilings walls balustrade floor paint okay so that's the order that you do it in then you're going to lay your uh, linoleum in the downstairs and also if you're going to lay the flooring for the upstairs if you don't have a wooden floor already then you're going to do the flooring last then you're going to put in your um carpet runner that's the very last thing that's the piece de la resistance as we say to finish off your scheme okay so ceiling first ceiling first you can see the ceiling there paint the ceiling first then the walls okay then you're going to do um the floor paint at the for the side of the carpet um you're going to do the balustrade sorry then the floor paint then you're going to do the lay the flooring can you see the um the vinyl linoleum flooring there and then um also when you go upstairs you're going to lay that flooring there um so everything on the plane so you will have your walls that means the doors are included when you paint the walls you do the floor the, the doors at the same time because they're on that plane flooring last and then you're going to lay your beautiful um your beautiful carpet then obviously you can put in the mirror there afterwards and any wall art you um you can put that in about the same time when you're having your carpets laid and it's done that's it so we're looking at um as i say if trade are going to do that all for you one week if you're going to do it yourself give yourself up to a month and allow yourself two weeks to get all of your samples together and as I said, please paint onto paper and then stick the paper onto your doors, onto your walls, so you know what they're going to look like in that plane. The carpet, um, you need to put that on the floor and see what it's going to look like so you know what it looks like in natural light and artificial light as well. And when you're ready to go, give yourself the space and the time to schedule it in. Make all your notes on here. As I say, do not worry when you look at this and you see different manufacturers and suppliers for the UK and the US keys, the quality and the standards are the same and the pro end, end product will give you the same results. So do not worry about those at all um, when you're looking at the UK on the US keys, okay? Um, I have um, specified certain things just to achieve that maximum impact for you. Okay, this will be a fantastic transformation. 
thank you for choosing to um, have your design consultation done by me. I hope that this has really explained everything to you. If you're going to hand everything over to trade or to a designer or your own, or a project manager, just give them the videos. Please play it over and over again because often when you're playing things over and over again, you think, oh, I don't remember her saying that or I understand completely what she means now. So new things come to mind. So it's a good idea just to play these videos over and over and over again so you get a good idea and uh, you can look at it along with all of your lovely printouts that you have printed out of all your pieces okay um and then you can then you're ready to go and you're ready to start your journey in transforming your story and in turn changing your life this has the ability, the ability to transform your journey and to make you feel amazing every single day you step into your home and also it have an amazing impact on the people who use your home. That means are you the rest of your family or your friends and anybody who visits your home as well. What I'd love you to do for me, if you really enjoyed this and this worked for you, please drop me a little email on the website. Let me know how this worked for you. And also, if you could attach any photographs of how you transformed your hallway. If you don't want to show me the before, it doesn't matter. I'd love to see the after and how that worked for you. And if you give me your permission in your email to be able to post your afters onto the website, that'll be fantastic as well. If not, I'll just keep it in my own private file because that will encourage me. And uh, I'm so glad that you chose to have this design consultation. Please look at the other consultations that relate to other parts of your home. Maybe you decide that fun and funky is just going to be for, your, um, for the hallway and you don't want it for the other rooms that's fine what i would say if you're going to go to that go to that route the colors that you have used in your hallway generally i say stick to four colors four colors if you're going to do different styles in different rooms stick to four colors and um, and those different styles will tie together uh, all the different areas of your home so your home is tied together by the color scheme. So don't worry if you don't want fun and funky in all the rooms. Maybe you might want a more grown up room. If the colorways tie together with the colors that you've used in your, um, in your hallway, it works, okay? So you just use the color scheme to tie together the rooms. It doesn't have to be the style, it's okay. But if you want to use fun and funky in some of the other rooms, um, go for it it will work okay so thank you very much for joining me today and having a design consultation with me this is Nadia Strachan uh, signing out for today and I hope you have a great day and I wish you all the best thank you goodbye